Hi guys, we've been given this projectile motion question where it's asking us to find the um, angle that the initial velocity vector makes to the horizontal. We've been given the initial velocity vector as well as the maximum height of 4 and we have to use these two bits of information to try and find this angle here, theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up the initial velocity vector into its components. So we're going to draw a vector triangle. And what we've got here is we've got a initial velocity of 10 meters a second. And we know this is a right angle and we're looking for this. So what we can do is we can use this maximum height here to determine the velocity in the horizontal in the vertical direction, so the velocity vertical. We can work this one out using this maximum height because what we can also, with projectile motion, one of its key traits is at its maximum height, the velocity in the vertical direction, so at Q, the velocity in the vertical direction is equal to zero. So what we can do is we can make use of the formula v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Now, v squared is our final velocity, which is going to be equal to 0. Is equal to u squared, which we don't know, plus plus 2 times negative 9.81 times the distance, which is 4. Great. So what we end up having is if we move all of this over to the other side, we're going to have, we can rearrange this to say u squared is equal to 78.48. Great. So u then is going to obviously equal the square root of 78.48. And that is equal to 8.86 meters per second. So that's what this, so this is our velocity in the vertical direction. So our vertical component, 8.86 meters a second. Great. So now we have enough information to actually work out what the angle is. It's not a very complicated question. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of trigonometry. So we know that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Here is our opposite side. So this is going to be equal to 8.86 divided by 10. And that we can rearrange to have theta is equal to the inverse of sine 8.86 divided by 10 and that is equal to 62.3 degrees. So you can see it's not a very complicated question. The complicated part is knowing like the steps that you have to go. Going through the steps once you know what they are is quite easy but if you know that the uh, velocity at the maximum height is equal to zero and then you can implement this formula here to find the vertical component of the um, initial velocity you can quite easily then use some simple trigonometry to solve for the release angle so i hope that helped and i'll see you back here again next time